Okay, what's up guys? So I wanna get out this video for the men. And I put this on the thumbnail because I want you guys to understand something. People will show you who they are the first time, if you believe them. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time, all right? So look at Pamela Anderson. I just got, I, I didn't see her whole thing, but I saw the biography on Netflix of Pamela Anderson. And, you know, when I was growing up, I mean, Pamela Anderson, she was a hot babe. I mean, every guy was like, Pamela Anderson, Anna Nicole Smith, they were stars. They were, they were like the whole world, all the guys in the entire world wanted to be with them. They were like the epitome of what a beautiful woman should look like was... Pamela Anderson, Anna Nicole Smith, Cindy Crawford, uh, Christy Ireland. Those are all the women that were like the top, top of the tier supermodels. So Pamela Anderson's been with a lot of guys. And you can see from her body language in that picture that I put on, a, on the thumbnail, she's not even in this guy. This is her husband now, her most recent husband that she married with. She's not even looking at the guy. She's turning away from the guy and doing something else. She has almost zero attraction with this guy. I think she married him because he was, she didn't want to be alone. Okay? And you got to understand that. That women are, are ruthless, man. I'm dealing with a girl right now. <laughs> um, she's pregnant. And she doesn't know who it is. She thinks it's me. It's not me. Because I, I use protection on her. But, like, she, I didn't know this, but she's married. And when that baby's born, she's going to say that, 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 um, the guy that she's married to, she's going to say that you're, that's your kid. So it's going to be a cuckold. He's going to be raising that kid, and he's not going to know that that's kid, that kid's not his. It ain't my kid. I don't know whose it is. Somebody's. But she's already said to me, she says, oh, I, I just want to know who the father is because I, um, I'm going to just say it's his kid, but it's, but she's trying to find out who it is. So she's calling all these guys to do um, a, uh, a, what do you call it? Like a paternity test. But she don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. Women don't give a fuck. I'm just saying that they're ruthless. So when you see a girl and she's taking pictures with you and she's fucking not wrapping her legs around your waist, jumping up and wrapping her legs around you and pulling your pants off when you come home, if she's not enthusiastically, she has to have enthusiastic sexual desire. If she does not have that, man, you need, you do not marry her. Do not marry her. And, and you may not, you may not ever get it from her. Um, one thing is you have to understand about psychology and you have to understand is the way people are is some people are fucked up in the head. Um, and they're like, they got serious problems. Like some some women, especially young, beautiful women, like if they had sex with like in the 30s, triple digit, triple digits, okay, it's not like they don't want to. Like they can't. They literally cannot fall in love. They cannot pair bond. They're done. Uh, they say you can't make a hoe into a housewife. I'm telling you, they're done. Like they may they may put on the act for a couple weeks. If you're lucky, you'll get a couple months out of it. But other than that, it's a wrap. Unless it's like a toxic behavior and you're like beating her ass and, and getting back together. And then it's like something to where it's out of the norm. Like you guys are doing drugs together or something like, like that's what I mean when I say toxic. It's it's something that, that, that you have really, really, really high emotional highs almost to the point of danger. And then you go back down. You have to have th these kinds of things in order to have that kind of um, relationship. And then it's not good for either party. But yeah, man, like some, there's some beautiful, beautiful woman out there. And I'm like, damn, their whole lives are like ruined sexually because they've been with so many guys. And they'll never, ever be able to pair bond. And you have to understand that. Like Pamela Anderson, she's one of those women. Okay, it's funny because when they asked her, she's like, she goes out with Tommy, 
uh, uh, what's that? I think Tommy Lee Jones, I think is the guy's name. And she's like, yeah, someone put some ecstasy in my drink. Oh, and then I took it and then my eyes were like wide. And I'm like, this is, this is the typical, this is the typical, uh, uh, um, MO, mode of, mo, mode of oper, operandi, mode of operation. Okay. Typical mode of operation is women will never fail. They will never, ever, ever take responsibility for their actions. They will always look for a reason not to take responsibility for their actions and blame it on somebody else. So I guarantee you, the guy that she's married to, this Canadian guy, whoever the hell he is, I guarantee you that marriage is not going to work. It's not going to last. Watch. Watch. Guarantee. I bet a million dollars it's not going to last. All right? So uh, as, as, as just understand that the girl that you decide to marry and the girl that you decide to, to be your wife and date and have a serious relationship with, it's important that you take some, you use wisdom because that can, that can dis destroy your life. The wrong kind of woman can destroy your life. Absolutely, man. She gets pregnant, you're stuck with her. You're stuck with her. And you can't make her get an abortion. Uh, and by law, the U.S. law, you know, you're going to have to pay that child support for 18 years. Ain't no way out of it. Not only that, it's like your kid. If you have a kid with somebody and shit, I mean, I listen, I'm just lucky. Um, so I'm just I'm just want to share this with you guys that when you see a woman OK, I'm not saying don't have sex with her. I'm not saying don't have your fun, but don't fucking marry her. And whatever you do, use protection. Don't get a kid with her. Do not get a kid with her. But if you see a girl that when she's taking pictures with you, she's like looking away or she's going like this or she's like she says she'll say shit like, uh, let me take a picture by myself. OK, those are they should be like loud blinging alarms. Be like, OK. This is the bitch. Don't protect, protect yourself. This girl has no attraction for you. She is using you. Now, listen to this. You guys know um, Sylvester Stallone, right? Everybody knows he's the guy that wrote Rocky. He's a big time movie star. Him, he could get any woman he wants. He goes to Pamela Anderson. He goes, hey, I'll let you be my number one. I'll give you a apartment and a Porsche. Now, this I do believe. I do believe that he said this to her. He, he said to her, he said, I'll give you an apartment and a Porsche. And she goes and she's like, no, no, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want to be your number one. I don't want to be your number one. That I don't want to have any other numbers. The only reason why she said no is because she didn't want him sleeping with other, other women. And, and, and Sylvester Sloan, he goes, he said, hey, well, you're in Hollywood now. That's the way it is. So you see what I'm saying? Like he knew... Sylvester Sloan is smart enough to know what these girls want right off the rip. Now, granted, he, he married Bridget Nelson. He's made mistakes too. Dude, I don't blame him. Bridget Nelson was fucking, she was a knockout when in her prime. She was amazing. She's almost six foot. I can't blame the guy. I probably would have too. But in her prime, in her prime. But, you know, these are the, these are the things you guys have to understand, man. Women, they don't give a fuck. They will, they will let you die and not and just straight up walk over your grave they don't care so you you have to you have to understand when a girl doesn't have sex, sexual burning desire for you man do not commit to her do not commit to her do not make her make her, make her your main girlfriend do not um have an emotional attachment with her because this girl either cannot pair bond and, or for like because she's had sex with too many guys or she just, she just doesn't, she does she's not feeling you. And that's okay. That's okay. Just, you know, use her like she's using you. <laughs> uh, get what you can out of her and then get rid of her because trust me, she's going to, she's going to do the same thing to you. So, um, that's it guys. That's all I wanted to watch. I want to tell you, it's, you just have to be careful with certain women out there, certain gold diggers. It's a game. And they're masters at there's they are masters at manip sluts. Just remember, always remember this. If you don't remember anything else, sluts are masters at manipulation. They know how to get under your skin. They look for those cheat codes to get through your uh, to get through your defenses. They'll say things like, uh, "I love you," cheat words to break through your defenses.